Anyways, like I said before, I had to walk around, get enough Omni Gel for me to actually repair this. Because I tried doing it manually, and it was such a pain to do it, especially since I wasn't able to switch the data banks from one spot to another. I mean, it was pretty hard. There you go. See? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. My philosophy it is like work smart, not this hard. Facility. Would you like help? You're the virtual intelligence that runs this place? This system is monitored to respond to the name Mira. May Mira. I ask your name? That's a really pretty name for an AI. But why do you want to know my name? Why do you need to know? To determine the data access available to you. Mm -mm. Basic access is limited to non-secure queries. <laughs> Secure access allows most system functions. Privileged access is available only to executives of Binary Helix. Wow, so if I give her my name, that means because of that, she's gonna possibly limit the information she's gonna give me. Commander Shepard, I work for the Citadel Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. One moment, please. Council Authority confirmed. You are entitled to secure access of all systems. Nice! Please note okay. that queries relating to corporate secrets require privileged access. Privileged access is only available to Binary Helix executives. This system is ready to process queries. You may access me at any holographic interface within Peak 15. I need to find Matriarch Benezia. Yeah, where's she at? Benezia departed on the passenger tramway to the Rift Station subsidiary labs. User alert. The tramway system is currently inoperable. What? That is a little bit too convenient. What's the situation here? One moment, please. Diagnostics in progress. Critical failure. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Critical failure. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? Honestly, I want to see exactly what's going on. Do you know on. why the reactor was shut down? I'm sorry, but I was offline at the time. Shutdown could occur if reactor breach seems likely, or in the case of catastrophic laboratory containment failure. Emergency guidelines suggest the frigid environment will kill biological contagions. It may also damage mechanical ones. Turn off the heat and hope the cold puts whatever you've unleashed to sleep. Nice. Really? So someone actually did this? Okay. What do I need to do to get the power back on? The valves to the helium-3 fuel line must be opened. This can be done at the controls on the reactor assembly proper. What are the landlines and why are they disabled? The landlines connect my mainframes here at Central Station to the various sub-facilities of Peak 15. This allows the crew to remotely access my databases from the comfort and security of their labs. When emergency protocols were implemented within the hot labs, the cabling was automatically ejected. Wow, this whole place is just damaged. Not working, broken, needs to be activated again. Whatever the Matreon did when she got here, she screwed everything up, man. I don't know. This is like mad Tell work. Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. Tell me what occurred immediately before you shut down. Stage one alert issued at Hot Labs. Contaminants released from Laboratory Pod Gamma. Emergency protocols implemented. Stage two alert issued at Hot Labs. Isolation two breached. Tram shut down. Landline to hot labs disconnected. Stage 3 alert issued locally. Contaminants in tram tunnels. Station shutdown and evacuation initiated. Code Omega sent. The creatures we've encountered here, did they come from the labs? I'm sorry, Commander. Inquiries related to our research require privileged access. Oh, come Only on, lady. Executives of Binary Helix have that level of clearance. So she cannot confirm nor deny, but honestly. 
the matriarch was transporting some weird creatures in those boxes. Who knows if one of them must have escaped here and triggered all of the shutdown. Why were you taken offline? I mean, that's my theory. In the event, Peak 15 must be sterilized for security purposes. My program and data are purged. Hmm. They kill you if something goes wrong? My systems are permanently disabled. To be killed, I would need to be alive. I am merely a database program. You know what I mean, not literally. You know what? You know what? I need instructions on how to repair the station. Critical failure. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Critical failure. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? I'm good. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Okay, we definitely User need alert. to... Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Okay, well, before we do anything else, lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below, because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be able to get, to get daily gaming content. And hit that notification button as well. User so you alert. know when I upload my videos. Oh, here's the action! Yeehaw! Oh, ah! Ugly bugs! Oh no, they're blowing. They're blowing me up! Hold on, move! These are ugly ass aliens. Ugly aliens! You know, I'm not gonna lie. If New York was in space, these co these would be their cockroaches. Oh, these bugs are everywhere. I'm not gonna lie. This is insane. What is this? Online. How may I assist you? What? Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. No, I already talked That's to you, right now. Myra. Very Mira, well, sorry. Landline. Yes! Okay, so that's fixed. Awesome. Is there anything else that needs to be fixed? Ooh, let me hack here. What's in this box? Let me see. I'll take it. Thank you. So once we do all the repairs, we should be good to go. I don't see anything else that needs to be looked at, so... Let's leave, because it's getting a little too cold in here. Can I- is there any way for me to run? I can't even run, huh? But yeah, this is me and my crew. We got Ashley over here. And then we got- I am User so sorry. Alert. I forgot Main your name, reactor but... shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Tally, there Manual you go. restart required. We got this. We got this. The one upstairs is fixed, so let me check out the other rooms. Yes, look at that. Ah! I'm sorry, I get jumpy too easily. These bugs are so nasty. I'm not gonna lie, I'm like triggered right now. New York cockroaches on steroids. That's what they look like. Okay, so. Come on, you guys, let's go. You would not like New England then if you hate winter. With emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. I'm expecting more cockroaches, so I'm ready. Pull up! 
Oh. Okay. Nothing here. It's jammed. Jammed? Hold on, let me see. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go this way. This place is so huge. Uh-oh! Great! Oh, man, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, no. Who's upstairs? Why are y'all shooting upstairs for? I don't see anyone upstairs! Oh, this is Resident Evil stuff right here. My gun is jammed. My gun is jammed. I'm sorry, my gun is jammed. Okay, okay, hold on. Oh, you nasty little critter. You leave my... Oh, what did it do? Ashley, did it lick you? Dude, I hate how my gun jams constantly, like... Excuse me. Come here. Ooh. Oh, this is bad. Come here. Ew, there's so many of them. We are trying, Mira. We are trying. It's just... The tribulations of my space adventure is real. You know what? I need the Avenger. Come on! Yes, you're dead. Oh, like a boss. Them, them sniper shots are A1. Is this... Yep, this one's good. Fuel lines are fixed. Yay! I did it! It's repaired! How nice! Okay, so let me- let me see. Hold on. Rest is good. Beef stew sounds good as fuck. I've- I live making pulled pork in the crock pot. Dude, that's my next- my next experiment. Restored. Processing new data. User alert. Unable to connect to hot lab facilities. What? What's this about loose contaminants? Dangerous biological agents are present in the tramway decontamination chamber. The tram station has been sealed in the interest of crew safety. Activation of the fail-safe plasma jets is recommended prior to access. How do I activate the fail-safe system? Controls for the fail-safe systems are located in the security checkpoint outside decontamination. User alert. The fail-safe system is currently inoperable. Well, guess what? How do I what fix it? What it take to get the decon fail-safes operating again? There is a hardware fault in the control system. This can be repaired on-site using a standard Omni tool. Eight hour on low leaves a nice juicy pork. Then you can shred it and add barbecue sauce if you want. The thing is, the reason why I decided to start making stews is because I'm making it for my girl. She's been getting sick lately, which is weird. So I figured why not have her start eating some nice meaty stews to help her with her stomach and to help her not get sick often. Because usually when I do grocery shop, I buy her her usual jasmine rice, bagels, ham, cheese, all that stuff. And she always asks for those cans of soup. The Campbell uh, stew beef soups. And yeah, fine. I don't mind buying that for her. But honestly, I feel like soup in a can is bad. Like... Not only does it have a lot of preservatives, but I know it's so salty as hell because of the fact that they have to preserve the stuff. So I figured it makes more sense to give her a nice home-cooked meal because, number one, it's a lot better than canned goods. And number two, hopefully, my theory is, hopefully that would help her make her feel better as well. 
Look at you taking care of her. Yeah, I, I do that a lot. Yes, preach. Yes, exactly. I'm, I'm definitely a big believer on making home cooked meals. I mean, don't get me wrong. Obviously, once in a while, there's nothing wrong with having takeout, but still. Who doesn't want to go to work with a nice home cooked meal, you know? Unlock the decontamination chamber. User alert. Contaminants are present within the decontamination chambers. Passage is not recommended. Come on, lady. Let me in. I got the goods. I got the guns. I can bust a cap in their ass. Like, what's... What's the hesitation? How do I get rid of the contaminants? The chamber is equipped with a fail-safe system which vents a 5,000 degree Kelvin plasma. This a is what? sufficient to sterilize any potential contagion. After I had Ava, the fail-safe system is disabled at this time. After I had Ava, my mom brought me a big ass pot of homemade chicken soup. It was so fucking good and made me feel good too. Exactly, that's what I'm talking about. Sometimes when things are made either in a can to heat up or fast food, the love isn't there. And I'm not going to lie, I'm going to sound cheesy, but I don't care. Love is a good main ingredient to have in foods. If you don't have love in the food, in the food you're cooking, it's going to turn out shitty. And I feel like with the canned foods, especially the TV dinners, yeah, you can heat it up, but you know for a fact they made that out of pure spite and hate. I put love in everything I make. Listen, you and me both. I put love in everything I make, too. I put so much love. That's why the missus was like, Listen, I don't want no canned goods anymore. I want you to make me food. I'm like, say less. I've been waiting for you to say that for a hot minute. Because I decided to like eat one of her cans one time to see what was the big deal with her eating it constantly. That gave me the runs, bro. I had to run to the bathroom after I ate that can. No wonder she, she's been having stomach issues. That, mm, that soup in the can... It ain't it for me. And yeah, OMF, wait, OMGF, your body was like, why? Yes, Trish. But then again, I did eat the soup with the jasmine rice, so maybe that's why my body was like, oh, but honestly, I don't know. I just can't. Wait, let me, let me check on my beef stew. Hold on, let me see. Let me take a whiff of it. Hold on. Oh, it smells good. Mm -mm. Yeah, so with my beef stew, I decided to add in the yellow potatoes, a pack of beef chunks, some mushrooms, and some carrots. And then as far as the seasoning's concerned, I heard it's good to like saute the meat before throwing it in the crock pot. So what I did was I did a cup of flour and I've put in some adobo, garlic powder, salt, and pepper, and I mixed it. And I coated the meat, and then I threw it in the pan to like cook it a little bit for like a good five minutes, and then I threw in the crock pot. So what do you think? You think I did good so far, or you think I should do something different next time? I've also add in the, the liquid beef stew as well. I put like two containers of it. That's how big this crock pot is. That sounds good. Okay. So then I should be good then. Because I asked some random person at Aldi's and I'm like, excuse me, hi. Um, have you made beef stew before? And if so, can you look to see if I'm missing any ingredients? <laughs> so she legit told me what to do. Like gave me some few tips and stuff. It smells really good. I really hope my girl likes it. The thing is, since she hates carrots, I'm gonna have to like take the carrots out of her portion because she's very chunga with certain stuff like that. I don't have time for this. Override and open the doors. Very well, Commander. Releasing safeties. Proceed at your discretion. 
I have a beef stew recipe from Sean's grandma. We haven't tried making it yet. Well, Trish, let me know. I'll let you use my crock pot so you can make it. That's all I need right now. Or better yet, better yet, you know, I got this crock pot at Aldi's for only $30, and it's the six quart one. You think I got a good deal on that? We have a crock pot, I think so. Okay. That's cool. But yeah, all these has been on point. Like, they be having some really good stuff in that store. I literally got that crock pot at all these. Because I was like, hmm, do I need to, like, go to Walmart to get it? Like, what do I do? Six quart is a good size. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. I'm happy. I'm happy it's a good size. Because I'm making- I'm trying to make enough portions for me and Janine. Ah! Oh my god, I'm using the wrong gun. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah! <clears throat> I'm so sorry. All targets down. Thank you, Ashley. I appreciate it. Dude, did you see that cockroach that I had to kill? Did you see that cockroach I had to kill? Uh, let me see. I don't even know what size our crock pot is. What the fuck is that? Trish, that's a New York cockroach. You should be able to, like, get used to seeing those since you used to live in New York, so. Again, that's a New York cockroach. <laughs> let me stop. <laughs> Wait, let me stop talking junk. No, but that kind of looks like a Brooklyn cockroach, I'm not gonna lie. That's some Bronx roaches? Wait a minute, the Bronx does that? The Bronx has that type of cockroaches. Oh, hell no. I would never go to the Bronx if that's the case. Okay, I think something crazy is gonna happen here. <gasps> The Bronx with their cat size. Ah! Oh my goodness. Oh lord. Oh my goodness. Okay, the Bronx with their cat sized rats. Yo, this is nasty. I'm so triggered by how many cockroaches are in here. <gasps> no, the cockroaches killed someone. Oh no, look at his face. Wait. His eyes are moving. Control group loosen the They're in can't escape. Back the tunnels now. We're sorry. The leads couldn't get to the struck. Come out while you can. He killed himself because he was part of whatever happened here? Damn shame. God only gives you one life. He might disagree. R.I.P. The Sumerians believe in a wheel of life. I believe your people call it reincarnation. Ooh, okay. You know what? That gives me a really good uh, question. Do you really think we have one life? Or does reincarnation exist? Because frankly, I believe there is such thing as reincarnation. Online, connected to subsidiary facilities. How may I assist you? Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. Did I do this? No, I'm That's good. All I need right now. I feel like I already talked to her. Alright, let's go kill them cockroaches. Call me the exterminator, baby. Hasta la vista! Oh no, my gun overheated! My gun overheated! Okay, okay, chill, chill. You, you know what? That was a very nice cockroach. What a gentle cockroach for waiting for me to have my gun not overheat so I can kill it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Ah! I'm so done with this game. I fucking hate this. Anyways. Yeah, wow, Ashley. Wow, really? Really? It's been cleared! What you mean? Oh my gosh. Listen, I'm not gonna lie. I really do appreciate Ashley for being my companion. 
but she's such a dumbass sometimes, bro. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I think she's a little bit racist too. Because she'd be saying some weird, wild comments. And for reference, look in my Mass Effect series on my YouTube channel and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is a nice station. <gasps> Not racist. Yeah, she made a comment about how all ali aliens look the same. And that wasn't very cash money of her to say that. Departing Central Station. Destination Rift Station. But you know what? We can teach someone not to be racist, so... That's why she's in my companion group, because I'm gonna teach her not to... Not to be, uh... Arriving at Rift Station, ignorant like that. I'm ready, you guys. I am so ready. Everything looks clear. No... Surprise attacks. Just your typical, normal, deserted station. This one's not open, obviously. Oh, that's the emergency exit. Okay. Huh. So, that one's not able to be opened. Damn, Captain, of course. Let's see where this leads us. I'm not gonna lie, my main character does look cute, but then again, I always have a soft spot for redheads. Captain! Stand down. Yeah, exactly. Why are you pointing your gun at me, bro? Like, come on. Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. I'd do the same. What's going on here? Bugs. Zillions of them, coming up the tunnels from the hot labs. My team's been running on stems for days. You're human, and that's enough that I won't shoot. But I'd like to know who you are. My name's Shepard. I'm a specter. Huh. Yep. I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out, and he ain't all there anymore. But first we knew the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. We've never seen anything like them. What do you know? Give me the details, give I'm me the tea. I'm a xenobiologist. They're fast, vicious, and there's a hell of a lot of them. Yeah, Board definitely from the Bronx. sorry to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. What? So, she went there yesterday and you haven't heard from her? Yeah, she dead. She been dead. Venezia. Is she still over there? I don't know. I don't see what one person could do. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. Can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, and if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. Tell me about Rift Station. I can't talk about everything. What do you need to know? What? Uh, aliens. What can you tell me about the aliens? Ask Dr. Olar. He's the only one who made it out of the hot labs. He's the only Volus left in here. I need to know more about the situation in the hot labs. The facility's off the network. The only way to find out would be to send scouts down the elevator, and I won't send my people to their death. Did the aliens come from inside the facility, or did they attack from the outside? You want my personal opinion? Yes. Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. So, I guess the lab... the bugs came from the labs. Are certain the matriarch is still in the hot labs? She hasn't come back here. You came through Central Station, so she ain't there. How are your people holding up? We weren't expecting the initial wave. We made it inside. We lost some good people. I Most am of us so left sorry. Are We've kept order by long shifts and stems. I don't like it, but I don't see an alternative. Tell me about Rift Station. I can't talk about everything. What do you need to know? Tell me about the defenses here. Secure enough that you shouldn't poke in corners. I was just impressed with your operation. Being able to weather a week of assaults is no mean feat. Only the best get assigned to high security facilities like this. What impresses me most is the turrets, alarms, and cameras. They're all routed through a central location out by the quarantine labs. One guy can lock down the whole facility. The security hub's the last logical fallback, and we'd have cover from the turrets all the way. What kind of research is done here? Beats me. I'm not supposed to know. So long Damn. as people don't start dying, it's not my problem. 
Wow, so this place is so top secret, they don't even tell their personnel. Okay. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Whoa. Hell, man the perimeter. What? Who's coming? Who's... Oh, oh gosh. These cockroaches. The cockroaches, man. Okay, okay. Are we good? Oh. Oh. Well, wow. Thanks for the obvious uh, update, Ashley. Of course we got them. Oh, my goodness. This is insane. I just... This bug issue is so crazy. Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. We're all in the same boat. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. Honestly, I think they're just playing the waiting game. They're hoping you'll run out of ammo and then they'll be able to attack you. Oh, this is crazy. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you guys next week.